Hello everyone, and welcome to my Soap's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital teasers, Valentin Cassadine may have given Nina Corintos a harsh reality check about who she is and how much she is worth. It was good to hear Valentin encourage Nina in the March 20 episode especially because he didn't appear to have any ulterior love reasons. Valentin used to be excited about the prospect of reuniting with Nina, but he no longer considers himself worthy. However, Valentin does not think Sunny Corinthos is worthy, especially because Nina has been suffering herself endlessly in order to win his love and forgiveness. Nina has been in must-win Sunny back mode since he deserted her, but many fans are over it now. Is Nana coming to the end of her rope as well? There's only so much you can do to save a relationship if the other person refuses to meet you halfway. The program has been hinting at a relationship between Sunny and Ava Jerome, Mora West. But Natalia Ramirez's recent chemistry test with Sunny suggests another possibility. Since GH is marketing Sunny around with other love interests, Nina may not need to battle for something she cannot have. If this reunion is not going to happen, Nana should simply submit and begin the healing process. Valentin commended Nana for being a magnificent, bright, and resilient lady, which bolstered her confidence and let her realize that she is capable of great things. Nana does not need Sunny to be happy if she is prepared to pursue happiness in other ways. It's clear that the writing transfer is causing some huge character alterations all across the canvas. Perhaps they're aiming for a better Nina, one who realizes that her marriage to Sunny has ended. Let's be honest, Nina looks fairly terrible at this point. It would be a welcome change of pace if Nina shocked Sunny by signing the divorce papers and leaving it at that. Even if Sunny and Nina do eventually reconcile, it should not be because Nana groveled and moaned her way into it. It should be because Sunny and Nina's love was too strong to leave behind. That may turn out to be the case in the end, but Nina will never know unless she stops humiliating herself and puts all of this behind her. If Nina and Sunny are meant to be, they will come back together. If they aren't, Nina may move on from Sunny with confidence. Do you believe Valentin captured Nina's attention with his pep talk? Will Nina listen and put Sunny in the rearview mirror? According to General Hospital spoilers, Nina's perspective may change so we'll keep you updated on any formal divorce news. All of the things and services presented are chosen freely by the editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the merchant may gain auditable data for financial reporting purposes. Dex discovered the hard way that Jocelyn is prepared to do anything for love, but she will not do it. And we may be fine with his being a cold-blooded killer while practically everyone else in her family is okay with the occasional murder, Joss had to put her foot down when she found that her boyfriend had tried to kill Cyrus. Not that we blamed her. It's fantastic to see someone in Port Charles that upholds their ideals. And, as Carly told her sad daughter, she must do what is best for her, or it would just produce problems in the future. But is that really why they split up? Part of it might be to motivate Dex to finally try to take down Sunny for real, potentially in collaboration with Anna and John. But we have another idea, and as is common in Port Charles, it centers entirely around the Cassadines. Actually, it all comes back to Cassadine Spencer. As we all know, he died at the end of January, when Nicholas Alexander Chaves went to shoot season two of Monster, the Lyle and Eric Menendez story. But while everyone in Port Charles mourned him, we all knew he'd come home after Chavez finished filming. It's been especially traumatic for Trina, who lost her fiancé during on a romantic vacation to Paris, just as they looked to be on their way to a bright future together. And here is where Dex comes in. Trina has already provided her friend a shoulder to cry on since Jocelyn broke up with Dex, but we don't see things ending there. Because Dex, too, is lost and heartbroken and he's tried to do the right thing by turning himself and Sonny over to Anna. What if he approached Trina in the hopes that she might help him persuade Jocelyn to give him another chance? 
Perhaps he would have slain Cyrus, but only because he felt imprisoned and helpless. That is not who he is. Trina, who has a history of admiring morally dubious guys, might at least listen. Maybe she even agreed to a preliminary discussion with Jocelyn, but it wouldn't work. And that would be the start of Dex and Trina bonding and becoming closer against their better judgment, despite their shared wish not to damage Joss. Trina, after all, is still wounded and vulnerable, whereas Dex is lost and adrift. But the stinger would be Spencer's return just when their feelings were peaking, rather than Joss learning they were falling for each other. And here's the person he already detested with the woman he loved. Surprise. And if Dex and Trina had kept this from Jocelyn until then, the program might give a double whammy by having Spencer return, uncover the truth, and race straight to a terrified Joss to expose the two. There is an underlying law in everyday life that returning from the dead is never easy. And if General Hospital is preparing for Spencer's return, expect a very unpleasant homecoming. All of the things and services presented are chosen freely by the editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the merchant may gain auditable data for financial reporting purposes. Dex discovered the hard way that Jocelyn is prepared to do anything for love, but she will not do it. And we may be fine with his being a cold-blooded killer. While practically everyone else in her family is okay with the occasional murder, Joss had to put her foot down when she found that her boyfriend had tried to kill Cyrus. Not that we blamed her. It's fantastic to see someone in poor Charles that upholds their ideals. And, as Carly told her sad daughter, she must do what is best for her, or it would just produce problems in the future. But is that really why they split up? Part of it might be to motivate Dex to finally try to take down Sonny for real, potentially in collaboration with Anna and John. But we have another idea, and as is common in Port Charles, it centers entirely around the Cassidines. Actually, it all comes back to Cassidine Spencer. As we all know, he died at the end of January, when Nicholas Alexander Chaves went to shoot season two of Monster, the Lyle and Eric Menendez story. But while everyone in Port Charles mourned him, we all knew he'd come home after Chavez finished filming. It's been especially traumatic for Trina, who lost her fiancé during on a romantic vacation to Paris, just as they looked to be on their way to a bright future together. And here is where Dex comes in. Trina has already provided her friend a shoulder to cry on, since Jocelyn broke up with Dex, but we don't see things ending there. Because Dex, too, is lost and heartbroken and he's tried to do the right thing by turning himself and Sonny over to Anna. What if he approached Trina in the hopes that she might help him persuade Jocelyn to give him another chance? Perhaps he would have slain Cyrus, but only because he felt imprisoned and helpless. That is not who he is. Trina, who has a history of admiring morally dubious guys, might at least listen. Maybe she even agreed to a preliminary discussion with Jocelyn, but it wouldn't work. And that would be the start of Dex and Trina bonding and becoming closer against their better judgment, despite their shared wish not to damage Joss. Trina, after all, is still wounded and vulnerable, whereas Dex is lost and adrift. But the stinger would be Spencer's return just when their feelings were peaking, rather than Joss learning they were falling for each other. And here's the person he already detested with the woman he loved. Surprise! And if Dex and Trina had kept this from Jocelyn until then, the program might give a double whammy by having Spencer return, uncover the truth, and race straight to a terrified Joss to expose the two. There is an underlying law in everyday life that returning from the dead is never easy. And if General Hospital is preparing for Spencer's return, expect a very unpleasant homecoming. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.